so hi everyone welcome back to another exciting tutorial around model context protocol and as you can see on my screen i have been able to integrate mcp servers on chat gpt you would be seeing my ui a little different but don't get worry i have already explained in my previous video how you can integrate mcp servers in chat gpt this time i am explaining you how you can enable unlimited powerpoint presentation generation using chat gpt so now once we are able to connect powerpoint mcp to chat gpt you can create unlimited presentation on any topic and no one is gonna stop you so let me show you first of all the different tools that we have as you can see on my right hand side powerpoint create presentation generate add slide add slide header and many other tools are present for enhancing your powerpoint presentation so let's get started let's create a couple of presentations and then i will be explaining you how to enable this particular mcp in chat gpt to create unlimited powerpoint presentations it won't get restricted even when your premium goes down so you can create now unlimited powerpoint presentations with free chat gpt account as well so first of all i would be clicking on the blue button mcp and then doing an attach of this particular instructions once this is done now i will be giving it a prompt create a presentation explaining some key techniques on how to use chat gpt use tables and charts and other visualizations that are possible in the presentation so this presentation can be of n number of slides you can mention that too in your prompt so let's get started let's hit enter and let's see the magic of model context protocol how it enables different types of uis with capabilities as you can see it has started working everything is going automatically as you can see my browser is working automatically all the slides would be created by chat gpt itself and in the end i would be seeing the local powerpoint presentation that would be created in my pc as you can see the intro slide is in it is done and everything is going automatically i think what a time to be alive recently i think if you don't know model context protocol has been gaining some attraction on the internet and i have also written a book uh, that would be coming out next month so stay tuned apart from that this is one of the most crucial topics i would say that everyone should read about because it enables ai to take control of any software right now it is taking control of powerpoint as you can see it is adding different visualizations you are if you are able to read the answers that we are getting it is adding title header different visualizations different slides on its own i am doing nothing so this is the power of model context protocol and it will give you an output in your local system so eventually i have already mentioned a folder where this mcp should save its output you don't need to worry i will be telling you every step on how i enable this so that you don't feel you can also use this particular powerful mcp our presentation is done let's see what it has outputted for us so as you can see this is the presentation that is created by chat gpt let me open it mastering chat gpt a beginner's guide with visuals what is chat gpt pretty good prompt engineering 101 everyday users chat gpt not is able to add a table also do look into this this is very important ai doing everything automatically prompt structure versus response quality now this is a plot it is able to add quite good chat gpt best practices and the slide ends out here pretty short you can extend it you can mention it to add 20 slides it will add that that depends upon your prompt now let's create one more presentation and then we will jump on to how i enable this mcp in my local system with chat gpt so again you need to press the blue button and attach the instructions let me provide another presentation idea help me compare the performance of different llms and create a presentation around it alongside charts and their benchmark numbers make it sleek and short so now i am creating a presentation to compare different ai models and llms so let's see what it outputs this time 
everything is automatic again as you can see it is able to understand what metrics to be calculated mmlu gsm 8k benchmarks are also included and the speed is super fast by the time a human would be able to read a blog it is able to create full length presentations and this is sleek i think i'm using the free versions of chat gpt this is not paid so don't think that i'm using the paid version this is completely free so everyone can use this so don't worry about it that i can't use it because i don't have a free version i'm amongst those who try using everything for free so all the tutorials on this channel usually uses resources that are free so hence this particular mcp can be integrated with chat gpt and can be used to create a bulk of presentation long presentations short presentations presentations with tables visuals etc now as you can see use case slide is in the mix it is creating different slides on its own i am not even mentioning if you give a more detailed prompt it should be able to take that too right now i am just giving a prompt so that i can i am able to demonstrate it now the presentation is done as you can see it is providing a local path so i am not showing you an edited version i am showing you the actual version what it is creating now let's check out the, the presentation and then we'll jump onto the steps to follow so as you can see now there are two presentations present comparing llm performance benchmarks and use cases why compare llms uh, makes sense llm benchmark comparison as you can see it is able to get out the three major benchmark metrics llm benchmark scores here it is able to give us a stacked bar plot as well which is quite good best use case by models tldr which model wins pretty interesting very nice and i think given a better prompt the results can be outstanding now coming to the crux how i am able to use powerpoint mcp with chat gpt so first of all you need to set up this particular mcp server that is powerpoint mcp by ichigo i think i have already demonstrated this uh, powerpoint mcp in my previous videos you can check that out and here are the different tools present with this particular mcp server setting up is quite straightforward you don't need to do much what you can do you, you just need to git clone this particular repo as you can see in the commands and add these in your config.json file if you know uh, the location in cloud ai i have already covered a number of tutorial where i have edited the config.json file you can locate the, the config.json file in those videos else i will also mention this so i did nothing you just need to go to cloud go to file settings after git cloning do remember to git clone you need to go to edit config and here is a cloud desktop config and i have added as it is the entire configuration that is mentioned you need to provide the full path if you are using windows or mac or linux i would suggest you to provide full path for all the commands be it uv be it the powerpoint mcp github repo that you have cloned and you need to also provide a path to a folder where all the decks that the powerpoint presentation should be stored as you were seeing on my screen so this was just one part now we are remaining with other part also so there is one more command that will enable the mcp server when chat gpt so if you know chat gpt by default doesn't support mcp servers so how am i able to use it so this is with the help of a very interesting chrome extension that is mcp super assistant proxy as you can see on my screen this is the command that i'm running npx saurabh patels 39 i'll be showing the entire report don't worry about it and in the config i'm passing my cloud ai config for mcp the same config that i'm editing for cloud once you run it now all the mcp servers are running in local for me as you can see here now we are remaining with the last part that is enabling the mcp server ui in chat gpt so i am back to the mcp super assistant github repo that we have just enabled in a local system so you need to do one more step that's it you just need to go here and go to chrome web store page to download this chrome extension mcp super assistant you need to add this extension in the local system you have run that npx command using mcp super assistant that will enable your 
MCP servers to run locally now. And once you are done with this, you need to provide the config.json file in the local command that we ran. Then it should be able to enable MCP servers on most chat UIs, be it chat GPT, perplexity, etc. And this is how once you now go back to chat GPT, you should be able to see a blue button here as you can see on my screen MCP. And on the right hand side, you should be able to see a slider like this, which shows which tools are available. And now you can create unlimited PowerPoint presentations using chat GPT for free. Thank you so much. I hope you try this out.